Hello everyone, this is Matt Nutrits. Hello everyone, this is your man Hunter. Welcome back to my channel. This time we will be doing a review on my very first Valorverse Action Force action figure in the six inch scale. You cannot buy these in stores. Well, maybe comic book shops or something like that. I think I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm not positive. But I, you can buy them offline. You can go to um, Valorverse um, online to buy them, or you can go and probably buy them second-hand market, third-hand market, like eBay, Amazon, and stuff like that. But this is my very first one. I've been seeing these figures popping up here and there a lot lately, and I've been, like, eh, on the fence where I should I get my first one, should I not get my first one. Finally broke down, got my first one. Um, the one that I get was called Trigger. I, I, I love, I love, I saw him in a couple of reviews. Um, I also saw a couple of uh, pictures, pics on it on, on, on Instagram. And I really like how this action figure looks. So I said, I wanted to jump on it. I wanted to get it. So I got it. Um, this is this is from Wave 2 of the Valorverse Wave 2. Um, I believe they probably might be on wave three or four. Uh, I'm not going to really, really go deep, deep into the, the property of Valorverse. You know, I, I had heard some good things, some good, good and bad things about Valorverse, and a lot of of the uh, the things I heard, the, the, even the bad things where. But the company is like a company to me that we wish more companies would be try to be be like um I know it's a much smaller company but when when maybe they hear like a lot of things maybe go be wrong about their figures they try to go out their way to make sure um collectors or whoever they do adjustments to make things good so that's one thing I, I, I like I, I like it about about getting to Valorverse. Um I never had a action force Figure before, maybe not even back in the day. So I thought one. I thought I'd get one. Um, check it out. I like this character. I like how he look. I'll show you. I'll show you much up close in depth on how the character look. And I, I, the reason why I liked him because he had that realistic type, um, army type look. And you'll see it much closer than I'll show it to you when I show that. Take out the packaging. So. Stay tuned, we're gonna cut away, and we're gonna check out my very first Valorverse Action Force figure. And we're gonna see how we really like it, and don't run away. All right guys, we're back, I got everything out of the packaging. I was messing with the figure a little bit before I wanted to start the review. Uh, before we get into the review and everything, I forgot to show you one thing I meant to show you when before um, I took out the boxing in the open, um, of, of everything I talk about the figure. Um, here's the other figures you can get in the line. Right there. Now the figure we will be talking about is this one right here, Trigger. You do get a Sergeant Slaughter, um, Dusty, and Roll Out, and also other figures. He do come with a bio. Now I'm going to crop into that bio so you can sit there and pause it. If you want to, you can read that. So you can get it for yourself. And as you know, you can cut that out if you want to. I actually, actually, I do like this. I think it's kind of cool. Give you um, a, a little history about the um, of the character, of, of the figure, and then stuff, or the person, whatever you want, how you want to really look at it. So I'm gonna get you where you can see that. So pause that when you get the chance. Um, here's the bottom of the box. Here's the ball and stuff, and you can see the ages. It, 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 it is for the ages of 14 and up. I forgot to show you all that. And there it goes right there, the, um, the name of the company, Valiverse. So let's get right straight into it. Like I said, I was messing with the figure before I, while I was pausing, taking out the packaging. One thing you do, one thing you do get, you do get a, a, a stand. I actually love this, how the stand looks. Got that more of a, um, 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 a, like a metallic or a, like a metal type um, look to the understand. You do get four peg holes. Does says action force on the stand, so you can probably put your figure 
any way probably you want to post them on the stand, you do get the stand. Stand is really made out of good, good solid piece of plastic. Does have a, 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 a little rigid right here. I'm trying to think, can you maybe they could have gave us like a um a, a piece of like a, a cardboard um diorama or something like that. You do get the um I don't know enough about guns, but you do get this gun. Now you do have to put this piece on right here. Now, to, when you put this piece on, be careful. Don't try to push it too hard because you can break it. Um, the um, ammo clip is movable. does have paint on it. Here's the other piece right there. All, and this piece right here sits perfectly into that when you push it. When you push it back in, it sits really perf perfectly. doesn't come out. You get, you get the earpiece right there to put on your head if you're going to put them in for pictures and stuff like that. This is a very soft plastic. Then that also gets that. You do also get a um, uh, a gun. Now I'll show you where the gun go at on on uh, in a, on this holster. You do get eight sets of hands. You get two hands on him. You get two fisted hands right there. There's two fist hands. I would advise that you mess with the figure a little bit before you really go into it. Put them on because it's 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 paint on there and sometimes it can be a little stiff so you know coming through do um the mail and stuff you might want to warm it up a little bit but they say you didn't have to but for cautious for you really mess the figure warm it up a little bit you know a little bit a little bit of um, hot water for a few seconds to get the joints moving you do get um another set of hands now this hand right here is specifically to hold the, the rifle because it's how it's made you do get that one you do get another one to also hold the gun right there you get two and then you get two of those type of um hands right here you get a left and right on those hands did i show you the fist hands yes i did and so accessories not bad now value verse figures are a little bit more expensive like i say but like i say it's a, it's a smaller company but i think for for the value i think it's that you do get a good hunk of plastic now here's the figure itself. Trigger right there. Like I said, I, I, I you know, it's, it, he just give you that real look, look, listings how he, how a person would look. I love the, uh, I love how he got the hat on backwards. I love the, the, the shades. I love the, um, the goatees and the beard. I love the detail in the, um, uh, of the face. And we I can, I can show you the face a little bit more closely if my camera stopped acting up. So you know the details. I love how the the shirt and stuff on the web gear, the the harness and stuff is also on there. I love the um the pants, the the uh, and stuff like that on there. There's where you can put the um the, the stand for the two peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Um, these the hands do come out of him already automatic in the packaging. Now, I probably, after I switch out the hands I'm going to put on there, I'm going to put the rest of the hands away, and I'll use the same baggie that I the, um, the stand came in to put all, all the rest of the hands in. So let's go through articulation real quickly. We're going to start from the head and work our way down. The head does go left and right. You can get a nice up and down. A little bit of side-to-side -side attitude. You can get the arms to go that far out on the butterfly joints, that far in. You can get a nice rotation in the upper arm, upper bicep. You get a double knees. You do have pinless elbows, pinless joints. No pins. You can see no visible pins at all. That's cool. I do like that. You got a nice, good mu muscle um, scope on the, on, on the arms right there. You can get um, nice rotation. I said you get double elbows. It's going to stop right there, but mine's... I say that's good, good range. It's about like that's about forty degrees. You get nice rotation in the hand. Mine's a little stiff, you know. The hands they pliable. They're gonna be a little, little rigid a little bit. So they can hold a gun. They they're a little pliable. Do got a nice waist rotation, upper chest rotation. Um, you can get the legs to go that far out. Um, you can nice thigh movement cut right there. You do get a nice double knee. My my legs are kind of stiff, but 
I think after after time it, it'll work out. You do get a nice movement in the leg that can go that far forward. I mean, it's that far up and back, and not, I probably can get a little, a little bit of rotation in that. But mine's, there we go. I got that paint to start. You get a nice rotation, and like I said, you do have the peg holes at the bottom. All around, I love the figure. It's, 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 it's right, off, right off the bat. Let's put him on his stand. I love I love everything about these figures, and then one thing one thing I really do found really nice about this about these figures, you get the stand because I've I'm the type of person that I think every figure should come with a good quality stand. Just, just, just you don't want to probably do a shelf dive. So and I like where you get the, you get a, a point where you could probably make where you want to get your figure. In there, let's see how he fits on the stand, guys. I'm gonna take him off. Let me take it off. A second, give me a second now. Show you how he looks on the stand. Right there. Oh, 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 yeah. Most definitely. I'm gonna switch him out a little bit. I will put the guns on him. There he goes. That's that's how I think you should be going to stand. You can just plop it right thing, that thing on, on on the shelf. You can walk in your house when you're tired. You know how you slow yourself down. You know your battle verse action force figure is going to stand there and be like a champ. So I got one more thing I want to do for him. I'm gonna put this. Put this. I hope you can see that. Put this bike right beside him. I gave him a bike. For now, that's this going to be a bike. Let me move that camera down a little, just a little bit. I mean, we'll move it up a little bit. You can see that. That's how he looks. That's the bike. I'm going to cut away. I'm going to cut away for a little bit. I'm going to pause a little bit. I'm going to come back. I'm going to pose him up a little bit. And I'm going to let you see how he looks when holding his guns and get the correct hands on there. So I hope you enjoy my view of my very first Action Force Valorverse figure. And then hope you can like them. And like I said, you can, you can find this company online. Um, I got this one off eBay. It didn't take long to get here. I think I got it like, like, like uh, in a week. Um, I really got it for my birthday with a birthday gift for myself to myself. So I just waited a little bit of time. It just took me a little bit of time to get the video up for y'all guys. Um, I just contemplated what I wanted to do. So I really like it. Um, but like I said, you can just look up Valorverse um, Action Force. And you probably can find um, those figures online. And um, hope you enjoy my view. Enjoy your collection. I'll talk to you guys later on the next time you view with the Hollyman. Be safe out there. That's all, folks. Thank you for watching.